your 2015 COD champions, Team Denial. I'm gonna go fight somebody until they bring the rings out for you guys. All this excitement, man, it's been unbelievable. Man, oh man, what a weekend it has been. COD Champs 2015 ended with a bang, with Denial Esports taking the $400,000 prize and winning COD Champs for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I want to quickly congratulate Denial for the win, guys. They did a really great job, a hell of a job, in fact. But definitely, there were so many good teams out there in COD Champs that made a great difference in the game. There were a lot of upsets, there were a lot of good top plays. But overall, guys, it was a really great event to see. And if you haven't seen it, and man, you missed a lot. It was great. And like I said, I would like to congratulate Denial for the win, but in this commentary, we're gonna just talk about basically the highlights of COD 2015 What was there that actually ma really mainly affected COD 2015 to the finals as well as just things that are actually gonna happen afterwards After COD champs, but without further ado, we're gonna get started with this video what I first definitely want to talk about is mainly what is actually going on from Call of Duty Champs, what everybody has been talking about, and that was probably the upset when Optic Gaming has been eliminated from the COD Champs, but they actually finished in 7th place, which considerably, it wasn't really a great job on them. I don't know what happened to them, because I remember day 1, like, they did a great job. On Friday, they did really good, but then, like, when they played on Saturday, they honestly, I'll be honest, they didn't play that well. They weren't consistent enough. That's, the only, that's what I would definitely want to address in this commentary is because you know everybody I know a lot of people that are fans of optic and probably almost most of the Call of Duty fan base is optic fans and to have optic actually get eliminated early into COD champs it's actually kind of you know heartbroken because or heartbreaking excuse me because you know a lot of people wanted to see them go really far and expected them to go far and honestly if they were in the final I would have thought that maybe even a lot more people would have watched the finals of COD champs because I was looking at the stream there was about 120,000 people watching it which obviously is a hell of amount of people but imagine if Optic Gaming was there, dude, there would have been like double at, or even triple. But we're not really going to talk about Optic Gaming. We're going to be talking about all the pro teams that were uh, participated in the COD Champs. It was it was really a great event. Like, honestly, there's so much that I, I, I could talk about right now. Uh, it's actually going to make me stutter because there's so many things that happened. But overall, like I said, Denial completely decimated uh, through the entire uh, course. They were in the top brackets after they were a C2 team. And they managed to go through, beat Optic 3-1 um, in the top bracket bracket of round, uh, I believe it was the round one bracket, I believe, yeah, <laughs> not to be mistaken, but yeah, they really did a hell of a job to get through, uh, they beat Optic Gaming, they beat all kinds of teams to even get through to the finals, and then they beat Revenge 3-2 to two, um, in the first uh, series, which is a really great job, like, they were a good team, and, and the MVP award did go to Clayster, guys, Denial Clayster got the MVP award, and he even said himself uh, after the game that he really didn't care too much about the award, he cared about that, the the fact that they all played well as a team, which is definitely the main purpose of even winning COD Champs, is that they all played as a team and went through and just, just took down like everybody that they were actually against. Like they did a really good job. But other than just denial, like you know, like I said already, optic. You know, it was kind of frustrating for other people how they actually didn't go that far. They finished in seventh place. They did beat TK to at least win thirty-five thousand uh, dollars. TK won twenty-five thousand dollars. So everybody from uh, eighth place uh, to first place did win money. Everyone above that didn't really win that much money. Uh, definitely, what I want to say in this commentary is that I want to name some of the teams that I actually didn't expect to g really get that far into you know the actual brackets. And I want to say they did a great job. There are overall, like I said, a lot of teams that did a great job. But, of course, there are many standout teams that really did well, a big part in COD 2015 champs. And one of those teams definitely would be um, a Team Revenge. Simple as that. They were in the fi grand finals. No one really expected them to even get to the final three. Because the final three was Denial, Phase Red, and um, Team Revenge. And Team Revenge managed to get to the grand finals. They did a really good job. I'll be honest. They, they were a pretty spectacular team. Unfortunately, they did not win. But, you know, they still go home with $200,000 either way. Um, what other teams I would say? Uh, Mind Freak. It was actually an Australian team, I'm guessing. I think I am right. Mind Freak did really good. They got up to round two, I believe. And they, uh, I think they lost to Prophecy. But, you know, then again, they still did really good. Considering that, you know, they're not really a well-known team. They're like, there are many uh, not well-known teams at all that actually made it really far. I can name some like Mind Freak. Uh, Prophecy somewhat. They're pretty average. They did really good, though, overall as well. Um, there's 
one below zero, Epsilon, you know, Aware. Aware was actually, I'm surprised Aware didn't go that far than I expected because they were the number one uh, United Kingdom team um, in the, you know, entire COD 15, 2015 champs. And they didn't really go that far than I expected. But what many upsets that I would say happened was um, obviously Optic Gaming losing against Face Red 3 to 0. That was an upset. I'll be honest. I don't know what happened to Optic. Like I said, they just weren't consistent enough. And, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of changes going to come soon because they're going to have to fix their game because there is going to be a tournament soon after COD Champs that they're going to have to actually do really good on. Other than that, um, you know, they, you know, didn't do good. There were like, teams like Envy, Team Caliper. They're really good teams or, you know, I could say average teams. They didn't really go that far than expected. You know, FaZe Black, actually. FaZe Black got knocked out real quick and, you know, they really did a poor job. And honestly, my reason for that is that there was so much drama going on on Twitter. If any of you, like, follow, say, like, Drama Alert or just follow them on Twitter, they honestly have a bad reputation or just a bad morale. That could be somewhat the reason of how they didn't do good or they just didn't play well as a team. But by the way, that, that, that was a team that I saw that didn't really uh, make it that far than everybody expected. A lot of people thought, you know, both phases would actually get through. Phase Black got eliminated early. Phase Red did go all the way to third place, which is good. But guys, overall, that is it for Call of Duty 2015 champs. Once again, I want to congratulate Denial Esports for making it this far. It was a great, like, probably one of the best Call of Duty events ever, you know, because obviously there were past Call of Duty events, you know, Black Ops 2, Modern for 3, all of those uh, past CODs. I feel like this was arguably, arguably the most exciting one, especially because actually Call of Duty Events Warfare worked perfectly for this style of play. The, the competitive style in Call of Duty Events Warfare, per, you know, works perfectly for, you know, everybody to enjoy. Uplink was so fun to watch. Hardpoint as well. Honestly, CTF wasn't as fun to watch, but it wasn't that bad either way. And, you know, other, other than that, that was, it was really great event, guys. And that is going to be the commentary for today. If you have any questions of anything that happened or any opinions you want to comment down below, please comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button below. Join the Mafia by subscribing below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.